So we're away for the 2017 Victorian Men's Mile Championships. And as mentioned, another stellar field for this event. Jordan Guzman, the 2016 National Silver Medalist over 1,500 metres, been in Thanks, superb happened. touch of later, 339 to his name just the other week in Sydney. Brett Robinson also shown himself to be in top form over the longer distances with his win in the World Cross Country Championships trial up in Canberra not long ago. But also a very handy competitor over the track, obviously a 2016 Olympic representative over 5,000 metres and finalist in fact, and also with a very handy 338, 1500 metres to his name. So not surprisingly, we see those two out in front through the early stages, Robinson and Gusman, and leading them through, it's going to be Masab Adam Ali. So 59 seconds through 409 metres, it's looking pretty quick. So we're on track for the sub four minute mile here. As we look back through the field, it's Joshua Johnson, another runner from Canberra, also in good shape. 3.44 just the other week, personal best of 3.43. And Adam Pike, formerly of Knox, now in the St Kevin's Colours, the bronze medalist at the National 1500 last year. Also nicely placed back in fifth. Jack Rayner, also up in the mix, another one who's performed well over cross country at the cross country trial specifically just a few weeks ago but also shown himself to be a very strong competitor over the middle distances. So still a very open race as they approach the halfway mark. It's Robinson, the first of the Victorian and the first of the Australian runners, still Adam Ali out in front as they come through to 800. So 159, two minutes as they come through. Just slowing a fraction through that second lap, but we may well expect to see them start to wind it up from about 700 metres left to travel. Ali it is who leads them into the back straight and we see him just starting to move wide now. So possibly setting up the race for the rest of this field now. As Ali steps off the track, it's Robinson out in front. Gusman clinging hard to his heels, so he's had to do a lot of work in the races that he's run, Jordan Gusman. Probably not minding the opportunity to get the bit of a sit on Robinson here. And Johnson still pretty well placed back in third, maybe just a little bit of a gap starting to open up back to him. As we look back through the field, Pike still well placed, Rayner starting to make a bit of a move on the outside. So Robinson it is, who leads them through. Three minutes on the clock. They've got a bit of work to do in this final lap. And Rayner it is who works his way up into third place now. We see that lead group of six or so. Seven with Forthorpe trying to hang on as well. Just starting to fracture a bit now. And it's Robinson who leads them down the back straight. Rayner looking really strong on the outside. Makes a move onto the shoulder of Gusman. He's looking the best of them at the moment, it has to be said. Jack Rayner with a big surge to the front. It's just a question of whether he's gone too early. And now we see Gusman start to respond. Very strongly, in fact, he moves up to the shoulder of Rayner. Robinson, the early leader, trying to go past them. So it could be these three to take them down to the line. They straighten up. Gusman making his move on the outside. It's going to be tight. Keep an eye on the clock. The sub four minute mark could be on the cards here. It's Jordan Guzman that's going to take it down the line. Robinson's going to get second and it's going to be 3.57 on the clock. A sensational run from Jordan Guzman to take out the 2017 Victorian Mile Championships. Robinson, the early leader, comes through to take second. And Jack Rayner made the big move down, down the back straight and is rewarded with the bronze medal. Um, Robbo on the start line told me that there was a pacer and I was unaware of that so um, I thank him for, for telling me and he, uh, he told me if I wanted to run quick just to get on it because you know the pace would go pretty quick and unfortunately the, the 5k legs on him got out a little bit quicker than me I thought, thought I'd have the jump but he got out a few steps ahead of me and ended up slotting in and you know I think with these tight bends and the, the wind on the back straight once you're in a position you kind of just stuck there and um, yeah I probably wanted to move a little bit earlier and I was itching to move at 300 to go but just wanted to stay out of that wind as much as possible I didn't really expect Rainer to come around at that point I thought it was all gonna you know wait to the last hundred but um, yeah I just kind of wanted to sit and just be patient in this wind and uh, happy with how I executed.